In this video, we're going to look at tangent kites. So here's a tangent kite here. We've down that radius, down that radius, and then this tangent here and this tangent here. So two things to remember. One is that tangents meet radii at 90 degrees and that kites are symmetrical. So let's have a look at this first one here. Well, that must mean that we've got a right angle here and a right angle here. As it's symmetrical, 44 degrees is this whole part here. So if we split that into two, then each half here is going to be 22 degrees. So that's 22 degrees and that's 22 degrees. Okay, so now we split them into two parts. We now actually have a right angle triangle with 22 degrees and um, 90 degrees as two of the angles. So taking those both away from 180 would leave this to be 68 degrees, and by uh, symmetry, this will also be 68 degrees. Let's look at this second question here. Uh, we're going to work out the lengths between these different um, uh, letters. So we've got 12 centimetres between A and B. Well, that means that C uh, B must also be 12 centimetres by symmetry, and 9 centimetres is the radii from D to C, so it must be the same from D to A. Now, to work out what DB is, remember that our tangents meet our um, radii at right angles. So I've got two right angle triangles here where BD is the hypotenuse. So I'm going to use a little bit of um, Pythagoras to work out what BD is. So that's going to be 9 squared plus 12 squared. Uh, BD is then going to be equal to 2. BD squared, sorry, is going to be equal to 225. So square root 225, and I get 15 centimetres. So BD is 15 centimetres. Here's a little extension for that first question. We've now got a line drawn vertically down from both of the contact points. Let's see if we can fill in some of the, the missing angles. So the line that's going vertically down will meet the horizontal line at right angles here. Uh, now remember here is a right angle, but we've got in this sort of red triangle here, we've now got another right angle triangle here. So I've got two angles, this right angle triangle, I've got 90 and 22, which makes then this angle here 68. And obviously the same at the bottom here, that's going to be 68 as well. So then for this uh, blue triangle here, Again, I've got two angles, the right angle and the 68, and therefore this will be 22 degrees, and likewise that angle there. 